Hi guys, this is Zeeshan with MZA and we have some exciting news today from Google. The new Google Pixel 4a has just been launched yesterday. So before we begin, if you're new to the channel and would like to uh, see more of my videos, please subscribe, like, comment and share. That would be really helpful and I'd really appreciate it. Alright, so the new Google Pixel 4a is quite simply a great phone on a budget with a great camera. I guess that's it. All right, let's jump deeper into it. So it looks beautiful and simple. It's seamless, elegant, simplicity. There are no fills and whistles, which means no um, glass, no metal. It's a one piece plastic, which means it won't shatter. If you drop it by accident, that's fine. Just pick it up, start using it again. It also means that it's resistant to fingerprints. Unlike glass or metal, um, the plastic material used by Google Pixel 4a is really good when it comes to fingerprints. So Google's been really smart and simple about this. They've only made one option, which means one size is the same size as the iPhone 11 Pro, but of course it's going to be much lighter because it's plastic. It's one color that's they're just black and it comes with 128 GB of storage. Google Pixel 4a has a Snapdragon 730G, which isn't the fastest out there but it's um, good enough for this phone. It comes with uh, 3140mAh battery life but the thing is because they have such a good chip in it um, it doesn't consume as much battery so the battery life is really good so the speakers on the new Pixel 4a are single mono speakers at the bottom I wish they had more speakers in there but for the price I think they do a good job the best thing about this phone and music is that it has a headphone jack so you don't need to spend an extra sum of money to buy um, wireless earphones. You can just connect the earphones you have to the new Google Pixel 4a. It also comes with a USB-C port. All right, let's talk about the screen for a second. So it's 5.81 inches, 1080 OLED display, flat screen, and thin bezels. And it packs over and above 400 pixels per inch. It also has um, the standard Google Pixel uh, fingerprint reader at the back. I think once you get used to the form factor, um, it's really conveniently placed and that's the Google design and they're stuck with it and I think they've done a good job with it. Now the main reason to buy this phone isn't the hardware, it's what's inside the phone and the camera. So let's talk about the camera. Google Pixel 4a comes with a single camera with flash. That means no separate camera for ultra wide pictures and no separate camera for portrait mode. The camera doesn't have a depth sensor, but it does a really good job of taking uh, portrait photos even without the depth sensor. So at the back, they have a 12.2 megapixel sensor at f1.7 with OIS. Now the great thing about this phone is that even with one camera the image processing quality is amazing and with its night sight technology it takes great images in low light as well. And the front facing selfie camera is 8 megapixels and it does a great job as well. Let's jump into the software. It's really easy to use. It has tons of Google features on top of the Android features that are specific and exclusive just to the Pixel. You no longer get the Google Assistant by squeezing the phone. It's now a diagonal swipe up from the bottom left corner. I think that works just as well. So including uh, the Google Assistant, it has tons of other features like a Race to Wake. It has uh, live captions for videos and that's not just for YouTube. You can use live caption for videos for any, on any platform. It also has uh, call screening so the phone will detect if uh, you're getting robocalls and it allows you to avoid them altogether, not waste your time. At 60 hertz per second, it's not the fastest and that may be a problem, 
considering the competition, which is the OnePlus Nord and the iPhone SE. But uh, Google, I think, has made a conscious decision to keep it at 60 hertz. So along with all the software, Google is offering three years of Google updates. That means you'll go all the way to uh, Android 13 on this phone, which is, I think, it's a really good job. And I think it's more than what anyone else is offering right now. Google Pixel 4a also comes with three months of YouTube Premium, 100 gigs of storage on the cloud, and Google Play Pass. I think what they're expecting is after three months, you'll just continue using all these features. All right, so let's jump to the pros. First of all, um, at $350, they've avoided the competition altogether. They're not looking to get into a race at $400. So by reducing the price by $50, I think they've put themselves in a different category altogether. And this also made the consumer choice a lot easier. Second pro is the camera. It's amazing if you're on a budget and you're looking to get great quality photos on your phone. I think Google Pixel 4a is the only option. Third pro is the tons of Google features on top of the Android and the Google exclusive features for the Pixel. Fourth pro is the gate battery life. And the fifth pro is having the headphone jack. Okay, let's discuss the cons as well. First, there's only one camera, so you can't take ultra wide photos. Second, there's no IP rating. Third, I wish it had better uh, stereo speakers. Four, uh, there's no glass, no metal. For people who are looking to maybe pay $50 extra and get those, get a flashy looking phone, um, it might come as a con. And the last con, in my opinion, is no wireless charging. I think you can live without it, but it would have been a nice feature to have. All in all, I think there are two main competitors for the Google Pixel 4a. The first one is the OnePlus Nord. It's faster, it's bigger battery life, higher refresh rate, and multiple cameras. And then there's the iPhone SE. That's faster as well, and that's faster than the OnePlus Nord as well. And it also takes amazing photos. But the thing is, both of these phones are more expensive than the Google Pixel, and I think by pricing itself as it has, Google's done a really good job and made the consumer decision a lot easier. All right, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. This was Zishan with MZA. See you next time.